Geraldine Fitzgerald, a luminary of classic Hollywood, carved a distinctive niche among her contemporaries through a nuanced approach to her craft. What sets her apart is not only her formidable acting prowess, but also a rare ability to infuse authenticity into her roles. The first encounter with Fitzgerald's talent might vary for many, but it is universally marked by an undeniable recognition of her exceptional skill. Now, reflecting on personal experiences with this classic Hollywood actor, one may wonder about cherished memories or standout moments. What lingers in your mind when you think of Geraldine Fitzgerald? We invite you to share your stories and memories in the comments below. To delve into the essence of Fitzgerald's contribution to the silver screen, let's uncover some intriguing facets of her career. Stay tuned for random facts that illuminate the journey of this remarkable actress. What stands out in your memory and what anecdotes do you recall about Geraldine Fitzgerald? Share your thoughts below and let's celebrate the legacy of this classic Hollywood talent together. Geraldine Fitzgerald, the accomplished actress, had intriguing connections that added layers to her life beyond the silver screen. One notable link was her reported distant relation to the renowned Irish author James Joyce. This familial tie extended to Joyce's classic novel Ulysses, where Fitzgerald's father's law firm, D&T Fitzgerald, found a mention. Notably, Joyce's sister had also been employed by this law firm. In 1939, a pivotal year in Fitzgerald's career, she earned an Oscar nomination for Best Supporting Actress for her role in Wuthering Heights. Simultaneously, she portrayed another memorable character, Anne, the best friend of Betty Davis' character in the film Dark Victory. Beyond her professional achievements, Fitzgerald maintained enduring friendships, such as with Anne Shirley. Their bond was evident when Shirley attended a taping of Fitzgerald's guest appearance on The Golden Girls in 1985. These intricate connections provide a fascinating glimpse into the life of Geraldine Fitzgerald, showcasing not only her talent on screen but also the notable relationships and familial ties that shaped her narrative. Geraldine Fitzgerald, a prominent actress, faced hurdles in her career due to her confrontational approach. Jack L. Warner, the head of Warner Bros., barred her from the role of Mary Esther in the iconic film The Maltese Falcon, starring Humphrey Bogart, owing to her refusal to participate in several Warner Bros. productions. This clash with the studio head highlighted Fitzgerald's strong-willed nature. Beyond her acting prowess, Fitzgerald co-founded the Everman Street Theater alongside B. Jonathan Rinkamp. Notably, this theater broke barriers by featuring street performances with children from diverse backgrounds. Fitzgerald's liberal approach shone through as she orchestrated all-black productions in various street shows, leaving a lasting impact on the theatrical landscape. Her personal life held intriguing stories as well. The acclaimed director Michael Lindsay Hogg is her son, and from a brief affair with Orson Welles, she had another son, making Welles the biological father. In addition, her marriage to Stuart Scheftel bore a daughter, Susan Scheftel, who later became a clinical psychologist. These familial connections added layers to Fitzgerald's life beyond the glitz of the silver screen. In exploring the life of Geraldine Fitzgerald, one encounters not only her formidable on-screen presence, but also the challenges she faced in the industry and her impactful contributions to the world of theater. This multifaceted perspective provides a nuanced understanding of a woman who left an indelible mark on both stage and screen. Geraldine Fitzgerald, the versatile actress, shared a lesser-known aspect of her Hollywood journey, her natural hair color. Initially a redhead, her hair appeared dark in photographs, leading to a widespread misconception that she was a brunette. It wasn't until her role in the color film Wilson, portraying Edith Wilson, that the public witnessed her true red hair. This fact unveils the nuances behind Fitzgerald's on-screen image, challenging the assumptions held by many about her appearance. Apart from her hair revelation, Fitzgerald's filmography includes the intriguing case of Love Spell, also known as Tristan, and Isolt. Despite being made in 1979, the film remained unreleased, adding a layer of mystery to her career. The reasons behind the delay and eventual shelving of this project could offer insights into the dynamics of the film industry during that period. In a connection that traces back to her early years, Fitzgerald shared a notable friendship with Irish actress Maureen O'Sullivan, a relationship that endured from childhood throughout their lives. This friendship, originating from their days as schoolmates with Vivian Lee, 
provides a glimpse into Fitzgerald's personal life and the enduring bonds she formed beyond the spotlight. Exploring these lesser-known facets of Geraldine Fitzgerald's life sheds light on the complexities and surprises hidden behind the actress' public persona. From her hair color struggles to the unreleased film and lifelong friendships, Fitzgerald's story goes beyond the scripts and sets, revealing a woman of depth and resilience in the world of cinema. Geraldine Fitzgerald, a seasoned actress, marked her Broadway debut in 1938, sharing the stage with Orson Welles in Heartbreak House. Their collaboration began in Dublin's Gate Theatre and transitioned seamlessly to the Mercury Theatre. This initial foray into Broadway set the stage for Fitzgerald's illustrious career. Fast forward to 1971, and Fitzgerald earned critical acclaim for her role as Mary Tyrone in Long Day's Journey Into Night. The Broadway production, opposite Robert Ryan, showcased her thespian prowess and garnered well-deserved praise. In an unexpected twist, Fitzgerald, merely 21 years older than Dudley Moore, played his grandmother in Arthur and its sequel. This age-defying casting added a unique dynamic to the films, highlighting Fitzgerald's versatility and portraying roles across generations. These theatrical milestones, from her debut alongside Orson Welles to the nuanced portrayal of Mary Tyrone, and the unconventional casting in Arthur, underscore Geraldine Fitzgerald's enduring impact on the stage. Her ability to seamlessly transition between eras and characters speaks to the depth of her craft and the timeless quality of her performances. Geraldine Fitzgerald, a seasoned actress, boasts a family tree intertwined with notable figures. One intriguing connection places her as a cousin to the renowned Australian novelist Neville Shute, known for the novel On the Beach, later adapted into a film starring Gregory Peck and Ava Gardner in 1959. This familial tie adds a layer to Fitzgerald's narrative, showcasing a broader spectrum of her relations beyond the glitz of Hollywood. In her personal life, Fitzgerald navigated through two distinct marriages. Her first husband, Edward Lindsay Hogg, an aristocrat aspiring to be a songwriter, led the couple to New York in 1938 to pursue his ambitions. Later, she married Stuart Scheftel, the grandson of Isidore Strauss, co-owner of R.H. Macy Co., who tragically perished on the Titanic. Scheftel, a successful businessman in his own right, was captivated by Fitzgerald after seeing her on screen in Wilson, sparking a mutual acquaintance's intervention for their introduction. Beyond the silver screen, Fitzgerald earned recognition for her civic contributions, receiving the Handel Medallion New York City's highest cultural award. Her dedication to finding theater opportunities for ghetto students through the Everman Street Theater highlighted her commitment to fostering cultural engagement. Geraldine Fitzgerald's life, rich with familial ties and civic endeavors, unveils a multifaceted woman whose impact stretches far beyond her roles on stage and screen. As the curtains draw to a close, we invite you to take a moment and reflect on the timeless brilliance of actress Geraldine Fitzgerald. Her performances, like ethereal brushstrokes on the canvas of cinematic history, have left an indelible mark on the hearts and minds of audiences. Consider the scenes that unfolded on the silver screen, where Fitzgerald's artistry breathed life into characters with a grace and intensity that transcended the ordinary. From the poignant depths of drama to the sparkling heights of comedy, she navigated the spectrum of human emotion with a rare authenticity. Now, it's your turn to share the stage. What memories do you hold dear? What characters resonate with your soul? We invite you to unlock the treasure trove of your thoughts and let the echoes of Fitzgerald's performances reverberate through the corridors of your own experiences. In this shared space of appreciation, let us weave a tapestry of reflections. Your words, like whispers in the wings, contribute to the ongoing legacy of an artist who illuminated the silver screen with her luminous talent. As we bid adieu, we extend our heartfelt gratitude for your time and engagement. Thank you for joining us in this celebration of actress Geraldine Fitzgerald, a luminary whose brilliance will continue to light our cinematic skies. Appreciatively.